So you're thinking about moving to Raleigh and think Garner, North Carolina might be the suburb for you? Well, in this video, we're looking at the pros and cons of Garner. That's right, the good and the bad of Garner, North Carolina, and we're gonna do that next. So you want to know everything about Raleigh, North Carolina and the surrounding area? Then like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you'll be the first to learn about the Raleigh market. My name is Chris. This is my business partner, Chris Lawhorn. We're owners at Crossroads Residential, and we receive calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Raleigh, and we love it. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Our information is in the description box below, and we'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Raleigh. Now today, we're talking about a subject near and dear to your heart, Garner, North Carolina, but it's gonna be the pros and the cons of Garner. I don't think we should do cons. Garner's my hometown. I love Garner. <laughs> well, we are going to take a deep dive into Garner, the pros and the cons. I'm going to get us started off with our first pro, which has got to be Garner's location. Prime location. 10 minutes, less than 15 in some areas to downtown Raleigh. Some of the outskirts of Garner actually touch down uh, Raleigh. Uh, great location, um, close to Clayton as well. Um, RTP, airport, right. all of that. And I think that the access, the easy access to 440 and yes. to Interstate 40 really provides you quick routes to the beach, the mountains, and, and most of the suburbs of Raleigh. And those that are not as convenient right now as the 540 is completed, and we'll put a graphic up on the screen so you can see the, as 540 is completed, it will complete that whole outer loop around Raleigh, giving you access to North Raleigh, Apex, and you've already mentioned it has quick access to Clayton, you know, Zebulon, Wendell, the eastern side already. Right, eastern so side. location, certainly a pro. Chris, give me, a, give me another pro. Shopping and restaurants. Yes. So uh, the biggest one is White Oak Shopping Center. Uh, and there's certain, some other little areas in there to shop for in, as well. But you got all the major big box retailers. Lowe's, Home Depot, Cabela's. Best Buy, multiple targets. Yeah, there's two, um, there's actually two targets. Two We're targets. asked that question a lot when people are coming into town, and uh, the things they ask about is Trader Joe's. Unfortunately, there's yeah. not one, but there is actually the one in Raleigh is maybe 15 minutes from Garner. Yeah, it's close. But it does have two targets, and yes, there are two Chick Fil A's. <laughs> we ask about Chick Fil A yes. quite often. Yeah. But uh, you said Cabela is great for all the outdoor yeah. enthusiasts. You got, uh, for grocery, you have Lowe's Foods, you have Lidl, you have Aldi. Yeah, so, uh, so plenty yeah. of big box plenty shopping. Plenty of big box shopping. And as far as restaurants go, you can't go wrong with Longhorn Steakhouse, Red mm -hmm. Robin, Chili's, yes. TGI Fridays, um, and a great House. movie yeah. theater. Yes. So you've got the movie theater there. Okay, so I'm going to jump in the next one, which is near and dear to our hearts, and that's housing. Housing. Um Housing, to give you context, in Raleigh, you're talking roughly in the last year, $242 per square foot. Garner, Chris, $188 per you square foot. You can't beat it. When you take that location into consideration and you can you know, just make that 10, 12 minute further drive and go from $242 a square foot down to 188. That's significant. Man, and a lot of that is new construction. Yes. So you know, you're able to get the, the newer neighborhoods tend to have, while they are a little bit smaller lots, you get all the amenities, the swimming pools right. and, and the parks and all that stuff. So, I mean, to save money, you know, you're not talking about a very long distance of a drive. Not at all. And the housing is going to continue to grow as Garner continues to grow because it's not built out. There's still a lot of new construction yet to come. And, you know, you're not really making a sacrifice to live in Garner. That brings us to our next pro, and that is the parks. Yes. Garner has an extensive set of parks, Lake Benson being probably the most prominent. Yeah, Lake Benson, that's a lot of fun. There's a lot of things to do out there. Uh, across from that is White Deer Park, but on the Lake Benson side, you have walking trails, uh, the lake where you can boat and fish. Yeah, you can actually rent canoes. Rent canoes, go out there. Uh, they have uh, various festivities out there throughout the year, playgrounds for kids. July 4th coming up with the fireworks, one of the best around. It is. People actually from a lot of the other suburbs come in. Yes. In fact, we're from Clayton, my family, and we, we go to Garner for the fireworks. Uh, and I think it may be more popular than the ones at the fairgrounds or downtown in Raleigh. I think so. So it's, uh, yeah, they do 
quite a bit and just but that's not the only parks they have right. they have a lot of walking trails which is a yes. really big thing here in Raleigh and they all our walking trail system interconnects the greenways yes. and so you know if you bike or hike or run what great places to do it now they did just build a new or newer YMCA yeah it's nice it's got the the pool and everything with that it's a nice facility uh, they also the new community uh, center that they built. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to offer a lot of um, activities there. But Garner has a lot of outdoor and fun activities that you can do. Um, but the parks are second to none. Absolutely. Now, our next pro, and the final pro before we jump onto the cons, is going to be the educational system. Yes. They are part of the Wake County School System, the largest school system in North Carolina, and one of the largest in the country, but very highly ranked. Niche.com ranks them extremely high and I encourage you to take a look at that um, now with Wake County you're not necessarily going to go to the school closest to where you live it could be capped out and that's why I say look at niche.com and right. then if you are interested you know you can contact us and we can help you figure out exactly which schools are available but you know really all the schools in the Wake County school system are strong and Garner's unique in that it has Garner Magnet High School yeah Garner Magnet High School when I went there it wasn't the Magnet School so that shows you the growth uh, but now it's Garner Magnet High School. Magnet meaning that they have college preparatory, so you get credits, and you don't have to be confined to the school districts if you hear that a lot. Um, it's a nice feature uh, for that school. Also, they just built a brand new, huge South Garner High School. Um, they have two middle schools and nine elementary schools in Garner, so that showed you the tremendous size and growth of Garner. Right, and I think they're trying to get out ahead of the growth because, like we said, there's so much available space, unlike other suburbs, yeah. that uh, you know Garner is really set to grow, and that's going to really help out with appreciation if you get in kind of on the ground level. Now, before we get off education, I would say uh, a friend of mine's daughter just graduated, and she was able to actually exit high school with an associate's degree so yeah, here in high school she, you know she got a yeah. two-year degree so she'll go on to her four-year institution just have two years left right. now as far as higher education goes Wake Tech is located the main campus is in Garner yeah uh, huge Wa campus yeah, it's they, nice. they yeah. serve 70,000 adults in the triangle yeah. and the largest community college in North Carolina and they have certificate programs uh, everything from nursing law enforcement firefighters right uh, they have tech degrees tech and degrees. you can get associate's degree there or do your college transfer to go on to a four-year school which back to location you're in the middle of nc state unc chapel hill mm -hmm. duke and east carolina university among many other universities we are in such a highly educated area and one reason is it's so easily accessed yes and that's and that's one of the biggest per one of the big perks of raleigh as a whole but Garner is being where it's located and what uh, uh, you're close to anything educational wise, this, um, high school, elementary schools, uh, higher learning. Okay, so cons. No, I don't want to. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start us off <laughs> and that's the lack of, of a real downtown. Yeah. Now there is a small downtown area, but it's basically this one side of one street and it had it is certainly just in in the last few years has really been invested in it is right. you know it's a nice looking little downtown but it just doesn't have the shopping dining and variety that say even clayton apex or window have yeah yeah and it's uh, and i'll give you this con um but it, and it's and it's always been like that it's so small um and there's not really a way to kind of build out from it either um but what they've added there now, they're really trying to revitalize it with the, the coffee place and the cafe and a little wine place. Yeah, Full Bloom is nice. It, it, it is really it's cool. It's very nice. It's just there's not a lot of space for it to go. And I think what you're going to see there is like some of the other newer towns, Holly Springs, Morrisville, where they've just had a lot of growth more recently, is you're going to see more new newer things come and you're not going to have that character of a downtown. Right. Uh, the third con um, is restaurants. So while restaurants, we talked about they have the, the big uh, chain restaurants, there's no like very unique, local, eclectic type restaurants that you're going to find in Garner. That comes I mean, along Clayton with and, the and lack of Raleigh. downtown, I think, because right. typically that's where you find those downtown. Yeah, so I mean, you, you have some of the like Angie's like, you know, uh, or Carolina Barbecue. Those are kind of homegrown, but 
nothing like in Clayton where you have Mannings and and uh, Crawfords. Crawfords. Yeah. So, but it's a short drive away. It is. And Clayton's a short drive away. Downtown Raleigh really becoming a foodie destination. Lots of award winning chefs. Lots of folks you've seen on the Food Network opening restaurants. So you're 10, 12 minutes from downtown Raleigh. So you have just tons of choices there with restaurants. Now, the biggest con, perhaps, is going to be traffic. Yes. <laughs> and traffic in Garner can be quite a challenge. And it's because of where it sits. Business 70 is a lot of people's path home that live in Johnston County and are heading toward the beach. And, and 40 East is how everybody gets out of town yeah. to go home in Johnston County. But also, if you're on Fridays heading for the beach, you better leave before 3 <laughs> o'clock because it's going to be bumper to bumper. In the morning, you got a short window. In the evening, you got a short window. <laughs> now, they have just completed a widening project that yes. goes all the way past Garner, and that is helping. I will have to say it has improved. It's helped tremendously. Um, but, yeah, and Garner being where it's located, so there's a lot of traffic going through Garner to Raleigh and vice versa, like you said, through Clayton to the beach. So some of those, even those back roads, they get backed up because the highways are backed up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, our final con is going to be new construction. Now, while we mentioned that in the pros, it can be a con. If you're looking for established homes that have that, that southern charm and character, and a lot of our folks are moving here from the west coast and the northeast, and that they want that stereotypical beautiful southern home with the white right. picket fence garner was so small prior to this just explosive growth in the raleigh area there's you know most people that live there tend to stay there which yep. is a good thing but there's just not a lot of resale homes no and and the new construction is going to continue it's booming um so and the flip side of that is something that people don't normally think about but you may encounter it with the new construction is adds to congestion inside and outside of the neighborhood and noise and traffic um, that may be a turnoff for some people yeah waking up to saws and hammers is probably not the best <laughs> thing but just know that if you can see it through right you're getting in on the ground floor opportunity in garner that homes you know the dollar excuse me 188 dollar per square foot price is not going to last no as, uh, as it and, continues and can, to build out it's, if you get in now i think you'd really be able to ride that appreciation up well, I'll tell Absolutely. you what, if you're interested in Garner and want to get more information or any of the suburbs here in the Raleigh area, just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Our information is down below, and we'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Raleigh. And remember to call Crossroads Residential. And we'll make it happen.